What's it like being a foreigner in Japan? Will there be a lot of I caught you staring moments? Or, most of the time, is it us being self conscious and uncomfortable when we don't have to be? Well, we'll be discussing that today and helping you, hopefully, to have a more comfortable, less conspicuous trip in Japan with a lot less head turning. It's your American friend Anming here. I've been living in Asia since 2012. I speak Chinese, Japanese, and now I'm learning Korean. And I can tell you the biggest thing that's gonna make you stand out is language. Yes, not speaking Japanese, basically speaking anything but Japanese, English, Spanish, I don't care. And especially if you're someone who looks like me and you're speaking Chinese here in Tokyo, you're really gonna get some looks. It, it kind of goes a little like this. <laughs> <laughs> but what I've come to realize is you can say nothing at all, do nothing at all, and still have these kinds of experiences. ドッキクタね。なんとなく手が分かっちゃったね、アメリカ人。アメリカ人だね。ユーセイ。どうやって分かったの?すぐ分かっちゃった。何で服装?ユナイテッドステート。あ、ユナイテッドステート。ユナイ
If you're a foreigner in Japan, you might get a few stares, a few shocked people, but generally it's not gonna be anything over the top or crazy. You'd have to do something really big in order to get the classic Japanese A. Well, let me just show you. <laughs> ですよね、この人は。おい、よ、僕。おい。おい、おい。おい、おい。おい、おい。おい、おい。おい、おい。おい、おい。おい、おい。おい、おい。おい、おい。おい、おい。おい、おい。おい、おい。おい、おい。お